Hi, Diana. Uh, hi, do you, have a, do you have a minute to hi, talk? Hi, David, sure, I got a few minutes. What's up? Um, uh, it's, it's about Brian. Uh, I, I, I'm having trouble engaging him. I, he just doesn't seem interested. Uninterested? How exactly? Oh, well, he, he, he doesn't care about details. He, 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 his, his, his notes are a mess. His prognoses are pages long. So many details are useless. He doesn't, he doesn't even try and improve. I, I, when I, I, I tell him what his, his diagnosis should be. He just says, oh, that's what I said, something like that. And, oh, he's got no sense of responsibility. He's worse than he was before. I mean, I'm not sure what they're te teaching him these days. I'm not sure what they're teaching him these days because students used to come here ready to work, ready to learn, and it's just not like that. <sighs> Sorry, Diana. Okay. Can you tell me a little bit more about his specific clinical performance deficits? Is he having problems at home? Well I, well, I don't know what the problems are, but this resident takes twice as long to assess a patient than the other residents. And despite taking forever, the histories and the clinical exams are usually incomplete. So basically, I have to go and reassess every patient. It sounds very hard on you, David. So why do you think the resident's taking so much time? Oh, I don't know. Uh, meandering questions or forgetting to ask questions. Uh, not ta knowing how to talk, basically. Not knowing the material. <laughs> Washing his hands way too often. <laughs> really? How many times? Well, I, 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 was, I was sort of joking about that, but uh, a, pa a patient uh, mentioned it once, and, and other residents call him Dr. Spick and Span. But you, you yourself, have you ever actually seen it for yourself? Uh, no. So, have you observed him, really observed him with a patient? Well, he, he's, he, he's, he's, he's seen me do histories, like, so many times. <laughs> but have you watched him? Do you talk about your expectations with him? Yeah, yeah, basically I do, yes. I, 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 I've told him he needs to be a lot crisper. He needs to be crisper. He needs to be crisper with his case presentations. Try asking Brian how he thinks he's doing. Oh, well, he, he can't possibly think it's going well. Uh, don't assume. You'd be surprised. Yeah, it's okay. Guilty. Guilty as charged. David, <sighs> finding time is hard, but it saves time in the long run. Talk to him. And remember that talking involves listening, too and observe him non-judgmentally. He needs to know that you care and he also needs to know that you know what's going on and you need to know that too or your guidance is meaningless. There may be something really wrong going on here but you won't know for sure unless you see it. Uh, I'm pretty sure. Well, that, that could be fair but you need to diagnose him just the same way we would a patient. So is it cognitive or non-cognitive issue? What do you mean? Well, cognitive would be things with reasoning or knowledge. When you talk about him not remembering the material, it sounds like cognitive. But non-cognitive would be things like stress, poor time management, or poor organizational skills. It could be that too. Well, uh, he, he doesn't seem to care about time. Well, then ask him about it. Well, he's just gonna, he's just gonna say, you know, that he's just being thorough. In his mind, he's just being thorough. Well, that may be true, but unless you set some expectations, you can't really say he's not meeting them. Right, David? Yeah. Okay, okay, so, so, so set expectations. How? <laughs> Talk to him. Do it at the beginning of your shift before you're both too exhausted to listen and talk about yesterday's mistakes. Be specific, target, and plan. <laughs> oh boy, this is gonna be interesting. <laughs> it is interesting. Talk to him about his goals. Oh, he's just gonna say he doesn't know what his goals are, or he'll pretend he does. He just needs to be crisper. Honestly, David, crisper? It's not a goal he can work toward. It's more of a feeling than a goal. Uh, it's, it's relevant, he's all over the place. The goal needs to be specific. What does that look like? Well, instead of CRISPR, it be, could be something like present the patient histories more efficiently with specifics about how to do that. 
Well, you haven't seen him, Diana. It's like I said, he's a mess. Well, he's obviously struggling. Why don't you just ask him what he's struggling with? Then you can turn his answer into a goal and it'll mean something to him. So straight up, just, just, just ask him, eh? Okay, okay, yeah, thanks. I'll, well, I'll, I, I've I'll, got to go. I'll, I'll try it, yeah. I'll. So uh, check in later in the week and uh, I'll talk to you about uh, this. Yeah, yeah. Right, thanks. Bye. Thanks, thanks, Diana. Hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah. 